Well, we're with Representative Charles Sargent today, who represents the 61st uh, House Legislative District in Williamson County. Uh, Representative Sargent, thanks for taking some time to be with us today and to talk with our constituents and your constituents. David, I appreciate the opportunity very much. Well, you're welcome. Now, Charles, you and I had a chance to serve together uh, and overlap, but where, where are you now in terms of your years of service on the Hill? Uh, starting my ninth term, which would be my 17th year as a state legislator. Well, wonderful, wonderful. And today, uh, the committee's uh, assignments were announced, and in the past you've been the chairman of the Finance Committee the last two years. Tell us a little bit about that today. Well, I was uh, reappointed to serve as chairman of Finance, Ways, and Means, and uh, look very forward to it, and uh, working with both the lieutenant governor, the speaker, and the governor to, you know, get the budget balanced and uh, try to lower taxes and uh, lower the size of state government. Now, are you serving on any other committees in addition to your chairmanship responsibilities? I do. I'm also chairman of the uh, Pensions and Insurance Committee. I serve on the Insurance and Banking Committee, okay. the Rules Committee. <laughs> you, you know, every once in a while you serve on more than two committees in it. You have a full plate. Uh, I do. Well, uh, we're, we're delighted. Congratulations on your, your chairmanship of, of finance. Uh, as the finance chairman, uh, I know it's early in the session, but do you have some feel for some of the issues you anticipate being addressed? Well, I, I think one of the biggest issues is going to be the our 10 care, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, if we're going to do any type of an expansion. I know just automatically, because of financial things, we will have to expand some, but uh, a number of years ago we were deleted about 225,000 people off the rolls. And, you know, we may have to put some of those back on, but I do not want to go to a full-blown Medicare expansion. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you are chairman, but you're also representative Charles Sargent, representing the 61st District. So are there any particular items of interest to you uh, apart from your chairmanship responsibility? Well, one of the biggest things in Williams County, we're such a very business-oriented uh, county. Uh, the number of corporations we have, so we need to make sure and always keep in mind to keep the taxes, our business tax and our corporations, and make it as friendly as we can for the state of Tennessee, but especially in Williamson County because of the number of uh, corporations we have in, uh, in the district. You know, and then also the thing that's going to be important is uh, the expansion of uh, Columbia State. We're looking at building a new campus. I uh, want to make sure the funding for the new campus is in, uh, is in the budget, if at, if at all possible. Okay. Do you think there'll be any discussions this year about the hall income tax? I know there's been stuff floating around about that over the last couple of years. Yes. Uh, we looked at it last year, but it was last year, as most people know now, uh, I carried the two bills to do away, one to do away with the gift tax, the other for the uh, do away with the inheritance tax. And this year we're looking at taking bites out of the uh, hall tax over the next two to three years and we'll continue that road until we get that hall tax uh, either eliminated completely, but it may take a couple of years because of the amount of money it does raise for the state and the counties. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to be with us. Thank you very much. And on behalf of the Family Action Council of Tennessee, the citizens, we wish you a great legislative session. David, thank you very much and I'm glad to be with you today. You're welcome.